You okay? Oh, mate. Yeah. You look naked. So do you. I had a bit of a rough night. She's been on the phone to the hospital. So have I. Must be getting sick enough here of us, eh? Look, give Peggy a kiss for me, tell her I'm thinking of her. Yeah, sure. Are you going to be all right on your own today? Let's just go. I've told you, I've got everything under control. Oh, yeah, and don't forget about this evening. You have forgotten, haven't you? It's a 70s night. Yeah, well, I've had a lot on my plate. Yeah, but it'll do you good taking mind off of things. Okay, you okay. You promised. Okay, okay, okay. You've been through quite a lot in the last 24 hours, Peggy. Thank you, and it's all over. You know, I was so frightened, not knowing what they would find. I... Oh! I won't need any more surgery, will I? No. Mr Simpkin was really pleased with the way it all went. The carcinoma was contained, so only a small incision was necessary. And what about any scarring? There's really very little. <sighs> you know what I could do with right now? A very large brandy. I just don't understand how we found out, that's all. It was Kathleen. What do you mean? George turned up in the cafe and she felt sorry for him. She, she thought she was doing the right thing. Yeah, I know, but... Sure. Well, in the end, it turned out a good job he was in. She's going to be all right, she? Listen, from what they say, she's going to be fine. Well, let's hope so, eh? Uh, what do you want? Cheese roll and a donut? Yeah. It was brilliant yesterday. On the radio, Frankie's singing. There are going to be more singers in the back. What, have I said something wrong? No, no, of course not. Um, glad you enjoyed it. You are in here early, aren't you? Yeah, school outing, geography trip. Got to be at the station at 8.15. Nigel isn't going, is he? No, he's saving up for his own field trip with Cassandra. But he's still seeing her, is he? Yeah, she's convinced him to go on some psychic weekend. 250 quid for two days, just to get in touch with yourself or something. And how on earth is he going to pay for that? I don't know, he's thinking about getting another job. Hi, right, that's. I'll play, I'll be late. Okay. Don't say I said anything, will you? No, of course not. So, what can you do about Nigel? <clears throat> I don't know, but Cassandra's definitely ripping him off. He's been getting himself into trouble ever since we were kids. <laughs> Ain't gonna change, is he? No, but we better think of a way of bailing him out again. Can okay, we better get going? <laughs> What's up? Frankie's singing. News, was it? <laughs> Come on, we don't wanna be late, do we? to take me away. I haven't forgotten. Black Bull Tower. It's good to see you. You too. So you got through it. I told you it'd be all right. How are you feeling? Tired. Why don't I go and get a cup? Come back a bit later and let you get some sleep. Don't mind. Of course not. I just came to check you're okay. Now, I've been thinking, perhaps we should go somewhere else. I mean, Blackpool. It's not the most romantic place. What about Paris? Or the Seychelles? Or the Isle of Wight? How are you doing? Hello, sweetheart. Don't I get a kiss? Let's not go and get that cup of leave me in peace with <sighs> I got myself in a right state yesterday. I'm still in one piece. That's the main thing. Listen, my mum. I'm sorry if I come on a bit strong. Oh, that's all right, love. I understand why you did it. Went well, didn't I? Yeah, I know. So, no more operations. And I bet you'd be glad to see the back of this place. I haven't. Not quite yet. I've still got all the radiotherapy to go. Can I get you one? No, thanks. I think she's bearing up well. 
considering what she's been through. Look about you and Mum. Listen, Grant, I don't need you to tell me I made a mistake. I let something happen. She'd never have got that far. You put her in danger. All right, but I dealt with it. It won't happen again. Oh, yeah, and how can you be so sure? Listen, the only thing we should be discussing here is how to get your mother through all this. She's got me and Phil to do that. No. This is about what Peggy wants. Not just you. And she wants me here. Now, surely even you can see that. Your mother means a great deal to me. As far as I'm concerned, nothing else matters except getting her well again. Look, in the end, we both want what's best for her. All right. But on one condition. If there's any more trouble brewing, you let me know about it. No more cover-ups. Understood? There won't be. But if there are, you have my word. How's your mum? Yeah, she's doing fine. I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, then, I get some rest. All right. Gonna go in again this afternoon? I don't know. Why, well, is that gonna mess up your plans or something? No, of course not. Well, you haven't booked any cab raising today, then? Oh, so you heard about that? Yeah, I did. But not from you. Yeah, well, you had a lot in your mind, so I didn't really want to bother you. Well, you should have asked. Yeah, but it was a spur of moment thing, and you did leave me in charge, so I decided to give them a go. Everybody really enjoyed them, and the went up. Well, next time. Yes, if you were around, I'll remember to ask. So that's all right, then. Oh, it's nice to know that you trust me. Oh, and Grant, pour us another one, will ya? I'd do it myself, but my legs have been playing me up. I think it must be all this extra weight I'm carrying around. <sighs> Give me a call in the morning, and I'll come pick him up. So what did the doctor say? Well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, you too, man. You sleep tight, eh? Well, I suppose you're gonna find out sooner or later. Mum and her sisters. She's in hospital. Hospital? She's recovering. You mean she's had an operation? Mum's got breast cancer. She had a lump removed. It hasn't spread. Gran, I had no idea. Yeah, well, I only found out myself a couple of days ago. She didn't want anybody else to know. And how is she? As far as I know, it was a success. She starts radiotherapy in a few weeks' time. Well, is there anything I can do? I'll just make sure she doesn't overdo it. She's got a rest. I know, Mum, she might sit still. Yeah. One more thing. Um... I really appreciate it if you keep this to yourself. Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. All right, bruv. So you're gonna come pick up Mum with me tomorrow morning? Oh, she's done the coming out. Yeah, I just had her on the phone. She sounded a lot brighter. Nice one. So where'd you get off to today? Oh, I uh, went and got me fortune told. The lovely Cassandra. Went and paid her a little visit. Oh, yeah, and what happened? Well, it weren't easy, but I managed to persuade her that she should tell Nigel he doesn't need her anymore. And how did you wangle that? Uh, just told her what her future would be if she didn't. You could summarily. Yeah, I know. It must be something wrong with me. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Oh, uh, and enjoy your disco. George, before you go, I want to ask you something. When I start the radiotherapy, would you come with me, please? Of course I will. Thanks, love. None of this is going to be easy, is it? For either of us. I mean, what I said, Peggy. We're in this together. Right? Wish I could stay. So do I. Glad you came back this evening. You get a good night's rest. <laughs> 